What's up guys, I am Kenny from Upscale Lures and today we're going to be testing out and reviewing the multi-material spinning rail which consists of 13 different 3D printed pieces. Let's get started. If you guys are interested in 3D printing this up, I will leave the links below so you guys can check it out on Thingiverse. Uh, this is not my design and I want to just you know point that out that I did not design it. I will be just... Uh, printing it out and testing it out and see how well it works. So he did recommend, the designer of this did recommend to 3D print this in uh, multi-materials. I guess that's why it's called the multi-material spinning reel. Um, it consisted of nylon, TPU, uh, PLA, and I think there might have been one other one. And he also said that you could... Uh, print them all in PLA, which that's what I chose to do. Figured I'd at least uh, try it all in PLA, and then if needed, I could try it in different materials. Which uh, the PLA, I think, I think that will work fine uh, for the uh, most applications for this 3D print. As you guys can see here, the assembly uh, was quite. Um, <laughs> It, uh, it definitely took some time and effort, I'll, I'll say that. I had no idea what I was doing. What did help is that he had two pictures, or a couple pictures of the completed reel um, included uh, with the 3D print uh, STL files and all that. So you did have like a reference picture to help you assemble it, but that still, uh, there was still some guessing and some... Uh, just as you guys can see here, just a lot of trial and error. I didn't know where the pieces fit, where they all went. I uh, it, it required a little bit of sanding. I had to drill out some parts. So there was, uh, you know, there was definitely some time involved. I got a little frustrated and I could not figure out how to assemble this thing. And uh, I got, got a little bit hungry. So I decided to make a pizza. So uh, here was the process of making that and uh, me eating it. <laughs> it turned out uh, pretty dang good. And we'll get right back to it. All right, so we are back to the assembly process. The friction cone core right there would not fit on the, that is the friction core pad. So I had to uh, drill that out a little bit. I don't know, I don't know what happened with that. I don't know if it got scaled wrong or what but that would not fit and that was the only option I could see that it had to slide over as you can see right there I slid it over now the spool will fit right on top so I had to uh, tweak that a little bit so that fit correctly and then put those little end caps on and then right there as I was pointing that was the reel that I don't believe was included in the STL files all right so right there, I'm testing out the reel, and it's uh, pretty dang awesome. As you can see, the the spool actually does go up and down. So I was looking for something that I could actually go out and go fishing with. So I did a little bit of searching on Thingiverse, and I came across this particular spinning reel. It looked really good. It had all the right pieces. It had the spool. It had the gears. Definitely stood out as something that would potentially work to actually go fishing with. After getting this fully assembled, I noticed there was no handle piece. I did look over the STL files, and yeah, it was not in there. It was not in there. I thought, you know, did I misprint in it? Did I lose it? I wasn't quite sure. But I checked the STL files, and it wasn't in there. So I contacted the designer. I sent him a message. This was probably just about over a week or two ago and no response so we'll kind of have to hold on for that you know potentially maybe he'll get back to us with the stl file for that handle which would definitely make it more function uh, functional at this point it makes it pretty difficult to use you're basically using your finger to spin around uh, in my opinion that that makes it pretty much unusable. I suppose you could design a handle that would fit that square slot, but that is a whole nother project. So the question that I wanted to answer was, was this spinning reel worth printing? And I would have to say, no, not at this point. There's too much 
tweaking involved, the handles not included. It looked promising from the start. I mean, it just it looked amazing. I mean, look at that thing. It looks it really does look like a piece of art. I was printing when I was printing this out and just the complexity of the gears, the spool actually does move up and down when the big gear is moving, so it does look like a fully functional reel, but it's not it's not all there. It's not all there. You know, you're missing the handle. Uh you have to do some tweaking. Uh, with the couple of pieces, uh, what were those? The friction core cone and the friction core pad. With the handle missing, it, I don't think it's usable. Um, so that's, you know, potentially this could be something that I could update in the future. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's worth printing. I will still leave the links below if you guys are interested in 3D printing this out. It is still a cool print but not fully functional. That is my full review of the multi-material spinning reel. And if you guys are interested in watching other videos similar to this, I have a ton of other videos testing out and reviewing other fishing related items, some fishing lures, some uh, hook removers, and I also do have some of my own, own design. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave the link below to the playlist so you guys can check it out. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and give it a like. I try to put out a new video every week, so make sure to hit that bell notification so what you know when I have a new video coming out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.